and Mr. Steve Rose, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Steve has an outstanding show here every trading day, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time. Also, has a great newsletter, Mastering Probability. Now, it's very easy to get Steve's newsletter, folks. You come over to our website at TFNN. Go into newsletters. You're going to see it right on the right-hand side, the top row. You can get Mastering Probability for one month for $149. You can get it for six months for $6.95, which is a savings of $199 at 22%. And you get it for one full year for $11.95, which is a savings of $593 at 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So you can go over. You get it. Steve has a huge amount of archives, all the tools that he has right there. You'll be able to understand what he, how he looks at the market, the tools. If it works for you, awesome. If for some reason it doesn't work for you, guess what? The 30-day money-back guarantee. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? Well, you know, Japanese candlesticking, right? It is it uh, understanding those patterns is so important. So I encourage everybody to uh, sign up and attend that four o'clock workshop for sure. Yes, it, it definitely, you know, it improved my trading uh, absolutely, and it'll it, it'll improve everybody's trade now. And there, you so. definitely know Japan upside down, which is even better. <laughs> Isn't that wild? I know. I know. Yeah, it it is great, and you know, my wife is taking me uh, back to Japan I for heard. my vacation this year. Uh, congratulations! And, uh, yeah. Thank you. So that's going to be cool. We'll celebrate my birthday over there. Yeah. Uh, but the other thing is, we're going to go visit. We decided to go visit Hiroshima. Okay. So cool. it'll kind of be a, a you know we I we went to see the Oppenheimer movie. Yes. So that was kind of good just to uh, I didn't really have as much detail about the Manhattan Project you know as was at least shared in that in that movie. So it's really a pretty cool movie. But I wasn't expecting a three hour movie. Yeah. So you know, but but it was great and it'll be nice to to kind of just go back there and reflect based on all the travel that I've done. Oh yeah. You know, just in the last few months. So so that'll be pretty cool. Cool. So I definitely recommend that people, uh, you know, attend uh, Teddy's workshops. Um, as you were talking about the market, really interesting time that we're at, especially right now today. And uh, what I have up on our screen for us to talk about is, is really gold and, and uh, U.S. dollar and a couple of other things. But here, if we take this is a daily chart for the gold futures contract. And as you mentioned, there's a number of different tools and, uh, that I use out here. And one of those tools is the TD9 count. Okay. And what I've got displayed here, I've got the, I just put up the continuous contract for gold so that I could go back far enough. And this takes us back into November of 2021, just to take a look at all of the TD9 signals that are present. Now, you'll see some other TD9 count tops out here or bottoms, uh, Tom, but those are not valid patterns. So I've identified each of the valid patterns that follow the rules that I follow here. And uh, so what we can see is nine of the last 13 or 69 percent of these TD9 counts, whether they're tops or bottom generated, what I'll call a successful signal. If it was a top, it was a top. We saw, you know, a, a decent retracement. The interesting thing is if we get if we don't take a look at the tops, we just look at the bottoms, which is really what you and I are talking about today. Yes. Uh, what we have is seven out of seven. So seven of the last TD9, valid TD9 count bottom patterns have resulted in a market rally. So we're at that stage. This is going to be the first failure out of seven as possible. But what I can share with folks is since November of 2021, each TD9, valid TD9 count bottom that is formed has worked. So this is signaling to me that we should see a rally in gold. Now, if the, if, as you pointed out, if gold is going to rally, well, in the face of the U.S. dollar that is trading above profile resistance and doesn't have a topping pattern? Well, this chart here, Tom, is a correlation chart. And this shows us the correlation between gold and the U.S. dollar. And this is a correlation over a three-day time period. So what this chart shows at the very bottom panel, when the uh, bars are below zero, it tells us that there's an inverse relationship, what, what you would expect out there. And when the bars are above zero, it tells us about a direct relationship, that they're both moving in the same direction on average over a three-day period of time. Now, before people get too hung up into dollar higher, gold lower out there, what we really have to realize is if we go back and we take a look at a longer-term chart, this is a quarterly chart, just so I could get enough data out here for people to take a look at. Gold definitely bottomed 2008. And I've marked out there that yellow line on the top portion of the uh, continuous contract for gold. That's that, that matches right up with the dollar bottom. So we do have gold that is traded higher in the face of the U.S. dollar index trading higher as well. But that correlation right now that is in place right here, this says that, geez, 
if the uh, if if gold is going to bottom, then we really should see the dollar form some type of top. Well, I mentioned that on the daily time frame that uh, gold was in a breakout mode. Now, there's different A to B equal CD patterns that are out here. I've shown the most conservative A to B equal CD, which shows that we're already at the 1 to 1.272 expansion level. That's the upper left-hand chart. If we take a look at the weekly chart on the upper right-hand panel, what we're going to see is that prices run into both trend line resistance and uh, the top of its weekly profile. Now, this is what's referred to, Tom, as a bearish structured weekly profile. And that says from the U.S. dollar index that uh, where sellers are lined up is between 102.54 and 103.49. So what I would say is that if gold, if not gold, if the U.S. dollar index closes above the 103.49 level, then that A to B equals CD pattern on the daily time frame that extends itself. The only other resistance levels at 103.62. So we got 103.49 and 103.62. Okay. And 103.62 is the center of that monthly uh, a set of profiles on the lower left. So I guess what I would what I would say here, the last piece that I would say about the U.S. dollar index is it's trading into a real significant resistance zone. And so not until I see a weekly close above 103.49 and that this helps me better understand the likelihood that uh, the eighth TD nine count bottom for gold will actually take effect out there. Now, when an instrument bottoms uh, on a larger time frame. What I like to look for is smaller time frames that will go ahead and confirm what it is that we're looking at. What I mean by that is here is the daily chart for a gold. Now, this was snapshotted maybe about an hour ago or so. And here I take a look at a five hour chart, a four hour chart, a two hour, one hour, 30 minute, 15, and all the way down to the 10 minute time frame chart. So as of an hour ago, the two hour and the uh, four hour charts had confirmed roads momentum indicator bottoms. On the five hour chart, all that needs is a bullish reversal candle, bullish engulfing candle, bullish reversal candle at, at the end of the session out there. So that may or may not come to fruition. But we can also see that the 30 to 60 minute charts have confirmed by the D point pattern. So on the 60 minute chart, or the 30 minute chart, I should say, I've drawn in the A to B equals CD to the downside. Well, if you take a look at the 60 minute chart for the daily, it's got that same pattern in there. And there's your bullish reversal candle, piercing candle that I'm sure that Teddy's going to talk about this evening. And on the 15 minute time frame, we had a nice TD9 count roads momentum indicator bottom. So what we're seeing here in gold is we are seeing what I'm looking for, which are the smaller time frames identifying bottom patterns. But that's just one element of it. Another element is the key resistance, because it doesn't prove itself until price can take out resistance. Now, this is the 30 minute time frame chart for gold. This shows the green horizontal lines of the TD nine count breakdown resistance levels. What we can see is gold has not taken any of those levels out. In fact, 1953.60 is the number to be paying attention to, because we can see that gold rallied up into that level. It, uh, it was not able to overtake that. And so if gold is really going to identify a bottom, Tom, we need to at least see a close above 1953.60 out there. Silver is also going to form a daily TD9 count bottom. And the number to be watching here is 2206. And lastly, uh, Mastery Probability subscribers, they receive this market analyzer. Market analyzer is similar to this. And what it does is it helps to identify what's going on with regard to either the roads momentum indicator, tops or bottom, and the daily TD9 counts. So I'll just leave folks with this, and that's that the SPIs, the Qs, the XLK, and Tesla each have bottoming patterns. Which would go along with if, if the dollar fails, this market wants to go, man. Yeah, right. Interesting. I so like we'll see it. if that resistance area and that weekly chart, if that holds. And folks, very easy to get Steve's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go into newsletters. You're going to see it on the right-hand side. Steve, you have a great one, a safe one. We look forward to show tomorrow. Thanks, Tom. Take care. Stay right there, folks.